Georeferencing is the process of aligning an image to establish its spatial reference within a specific coordinate system. So the goal of georeferencing is to move, scale, rotate, and transform any image to an existing map with known geographic locations and coordinates. In this tutorial, we're going to go through the process of georeferencing a map in ArcGIS Pro. So the first you'll have to do is add the image that you want to georeference to ArcGIS Pro. So here's my JPEG map without any geographic reference. I'm just going to drag and drop it to my canvas. As you can see, it's a map of the Yellowstone National Park, but it doesn't have any geographic reference, so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So to start georeferencing, first, select your raster image in your table of contents. Then go to the Imagery tab and select the Georeference button. This will bring up a whole set of tools on their own that specialize in georeferencing. Before you begin, it's important that you should at least know the general area where you need to georeference your image. In our case, we're in Northwest Wyoming in our map canvas. So the first thing that I like to do is to just fit my image to the display. It just makes it easier for the next steps and to have a point of reference. I'm going to click the Fit to Display button. So as you can see, the map of Yellowstone National Park is in the map canvas. But the problem is that it's not accurate. Adding control points to your image is the main way to align a source layer to a reference layer. To add a control point, you're just going to first click a location on your source image. Afterward, you're going to find and click the exact same location in your reference image. This is how you link and georeference one image to another. So let's give it a try. I'm just going to zoom into an area in my source layer. Then I'll just click on the Yellowstone National Park map here. Now, I'm going to find that exact same location in my reference image. It looks like it's about here. As you can see, it automatically moved my source image here, but the scale still seems to be a bit off. Let's just zoom into the source map again and find another spot. Okay, I'll click here on my source image. Let's try to find the corresponding location in my reference image. Okay, I think this is it. Now, I'll click here. Again, my source image adjusted automatically. As you can see, it's already looking much better than it did before. I just wanted to say that, ideally, you want these control points to be as spread out as possible. I'll add a couple more control points, but I'll do this off screen and be right back. So I've added six control points. I'm going to turn my source image on and off to see how well I did. So you can see that they line up fairly well. You know, I've added all these control points, but how do I know how accurate it is? It's possible to check out the accuracy of your control points by checking out the control point table. Just click the button for the control point table under the georeferencing tab, and it will show all of the control points you added to the map. Pay close attention to the residual values. This represents the distance between the control point between the source and reference images once you apply a transformation. In our case, the transformation is a first order polynomial. The sum of the errors is shown in the RMS error. In general, a lower RMS means a higher accuracy for georeferencing. Some of the options here are setting the transformation type. The first order polynomial is the default and is the most common type of transformation. Even if you can achieve a higher RMS error with other types of transformations, it doesn't always mean that it's the right option as it will warp your source image. Also, keep this in mind. You can remove any control points from your table by clicking the Delete Selected button. You can also unselect any control point in your table, and you can preview your georeference source image without those points. 
Finally, another option is to save your source as a new georeferenced raster dataset. You can do this by clicking the Save as New option. All right, I think that's about all that I want to cover in this tutorial on georeferencing. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more GIS videos. I'll see you next time.